Hello there, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to pop on and do a quick video on an order that I just received. Um, and I did receive something yesterday. Actually, I, it's three orders. <laughs> but um, so it's all it all has to do with watercolor. So and I wanted to share this little painting that I did this morning before work. It took me less than 10 minutes. Cute little pine cone. I'm trying to learn how to paint pine cones. They are not easy. I'm just telling you, I'm just saying, if you think they're easy, they're not. <laughs> or maybe they are for you, but not me. I don't know. All right, so let me tell you why I placed these orders. Okay, so first of all, I ordered this Bleed Proof White, Dr. P.H. Martin's. Um, the reason I ordered it is because I see Emma LaFave use it, and it really works really, really well. Now, I probably shouldn't show you this, but I will. Um, so, just to show you how it really, it really is very opaque, and, you know, that is really wonderful to put, like, snow on top of on top of whatever right whatever it is you're painting or or if you just need a you know some white on something it's yeah yeah so it wasn't a lot I don't know what it was but it wasn't a lot of money so that was a separate order and I received that yesterday then today I received two orders so the first that I received was this so this is the Kuretake starry colors is what it's called uh, besides that, it's all in Japanese, so I have no idea what the colors are called. <laughs> None. Because if you look here, I'm pretty sure that that lists the names of the colors right there. Yep, I would guarantee that. Do I know what it is? No. Oh, well, there is a telephone number here. T-E-L. I can read that too. And it does say made in Japan, but we know that anyway. So, all right. There are numbers on it, which is kind of cool. So number 901 and so on. But these are all different um, shades of beautiful gold and then a beautiful, um, like a pearl white. So I do have already the Daniel Smith. Um, these are the iridescent from the Jean Haynes collection and I use them all the time and I love them. Um, but I do see many watercolor artists with a palette of gold paints and I forget the name of it, but it's different. They're they're round, um, they're round. Um, whatchamacallits, instead of like oblong like this. And I did find it on Amazon, except that was $22 and this was $10. So I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to go with this because it's not, yeah. So I figured this would be good because all I really do with it for the most part is splatter. So I think I'm good with that. Then the last thing that I wanted to do was I needed some dark colors. So this palette right here is by far my favorite. I mean, I use this all the time, right? I do not have, I do have some black. Um, I forget, I don't know if it's pure black, but anyway, I do have some black. But besides that, there's like no brown. And sure, you can mix up brown, you absolutely can. But I wanted to have an assortment of dark colors, which I don't have. So this I actually purchased from Michaels over the weekend, and this is Indigo, and it is the Windsor Newton Cotman. But the order that I placed is Daniel Smith because all of this in here is Daniel Smith. So I wanna to try to keep the, the most that I can is Daniel Smith. 
So I ordered six different colors. And what's kind of cool, oh, let me see if I can grab this real quick, is I ordered a while back. They have the, um, what do they call these? These are watercolors to try, 238 watercolors to try. And what it is, is there's a little dot of all these different colors. I have sheets of them, sheets. But you can see, I went through and I activated the browns and the blacks to see which colors I wanted to get. I haven't even used this one yet. Um, then there's this one, which I've done a few of them. And there might even be another one back in there. But anyway, so that was how I decided what I wanted. So I ended up getting burnt sienna, uh, sepia. I never know if you say that, sepia or sepia. Uh, lamp black, which is a beautiful black. Burnt umber, raw umber, and permanent brown. So now I have these seven colors, right? And... I am probably gonna be good with this for like a really long time. Most of them are the 15 mil, one is five, what's this one, uh, eight. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna be good for like a really long time with these colors, but I didn't have enough space in, in this palette. I only have three, one, two, three spots open and I wanted to leave them open in case I want to add more colors to that. Um, so I'm like, well, I'm just going to get a little palette. I did not want anything big, right? Because having this palette on my work area, you know, along with the, um, the waters and the brushes and I don't know, it takes up space, right? So I wanted something quick and easy that I could grab and can stay on my work area. So I purchased this little palette, a little plastic palette, nothing special, it was $2, but it has a lid. So if I need a lid, I have it. I, you know, this one can close, uh, but I never close it. I just leave it open on my work area. So I don't know that I'll ever need this, but for $2, I thought that this was, you know, perfect for me. So now what happens is, oh, let me open this. So this is the Burnt Sienna. So what you do is you're going to take and put um, some of the paint into the different little areas and you leave it to sit overnight and sometimes it takes more than just one night um i know it did with my other palette but um it dries and then it's like this so these are hard right they're hard but they reactivate very easily with water so i'm gonna put these seven around here I will probably even mark on here, if I can, the name of the color. Um, I'll do a swatch card for this as well, but it'll be a little hard to keep track of what's what because it's round, but I'll do a little swatch card like this and I'll put the names on it. Um, yeah, so, so that is my thought process on having like just filling in I felt like I was missing um these colors so like when I was doing the pine cones uh, I um uh, see these were like a couple of my tries <laughs> so yeah um but what I I really was feeling like I was missing the darker colors so a lot of the colors on there are mixed but I'm like, well, it would be great to, to already have some browns. So anyway, uh, that was my thought. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead now and finish filling these up. I'll do a little swatch card and let this dry overnight. And then I'm going to have a nice new palette to use when I do my watercolors. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's all coming together. It's all starting to make sense to me now. Um, so I have my darks. I have my white. I am like so good to go. So good to go. Um, and that's it. 
So those are my little hauls for my watercolor. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions and have a blessed rest of your week. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I am trying to, you know, grow my subscribers. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much. Alrighty. Bye-bye.